हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय स्ट्रीम वंस अगेन आप सभी का मेरे स्ट्रीम पे स्वागत है क्या हाँ अच्छा दोस्तों तो आज हम कंटिन्यू करेंगे पार्ट नाइन जो कि पार क्लास सिक्स गेम है तो चलिए आगे का पार्ट कंटिन्यू करेंगे लेट्स को देखिए क्या होता है Oye, Dani, Clara's upstairs. Gracias. Look, I'm not into you, okay? What are you doing? It's my papa's. I borrowed it. Ya tu sabe. I'm done, Talia. No more secret meetings. No more protests. No more friends that just disappear. He's too strong. So you're gonna just march into the Capitolio and put Daddy's gun to Castillo's head? No. I'm going to build an army. And then I'm going to put Castillo in the ground. Come with me. You don't think I can do it? I've seen this, Talia. I've dreamed it. My mama used to tell me, save the dreams for the rich, fair-skinned Yarens. Us? We don't get to dream. We survive. You're not going to free Yara by killing Castillo, rich girl. You have to convince Yara it wants to be free. For all of us. Clara. Clara. You want to tell me why you dragged me back to my old orphanage? He's losing, Danny. Soon we march on the Capitolio. And now, Castillo wants to meet. You're joking, right? I want to know what you think. You've been face to face. I think Castillo's always two steps ahead. And he's not going to stop unless we put a bullet in his skull. <laughs> and then what? We kill his kid too? You had your chance. Why didn't you do it? Juan had solid intel there was a Castillo up in that hotel. He just had the wrong one. You let his kid live, and then Castillo lets you walk away from a death sentence. But the thing is, Danny, you were right. If Yara is going to have a future, his people, our people, we need to coexist. And the point was never to kill Castillo. It was to free Yara. For all of us. You had already made up your mind, hadn't you? Yara needs a leader, Clara. Not a martyr. Viva Libertad, Danny. What do you got for me? Guerrilla. The army is running supplies by the river in the center of Esperanza. Taking it out would be a big win for us. Thanks.
Pablo's busy again, is he? Go, yo, I mean, the presents are great, man. Libertad, come here. Fucking Palos says finding a way off Yara is priority number one. He wants to run while we got real problem. Matias is a fucking saint. Don't let Marquesa break him.
Dahlia, I'm at the academy. Looks like the inmates took over. Oh, fuck yes! Should make this easy! No, listen to me. The army is here. There's going to be a fight. Then get in there and get Matias out before the army storms the place. That's what guerrillas are about and shit! You're Matias? You don't look like a doctor. What, these scrubs don't scream physician to you? Talia sent me to break you out. Fantastic. One problem? If I let go of this artery, he dies. I need a trauma kit. Guards keep the supplies locked in the pharmacy in the other building. I'll go get it. Rapido, por favor! There's a flamethrower.
I'm good. Matias, have your kids. Get back, fast. Soldados are at our door. Kiria, <coughs> oh, where's that kid? On my way. The trauma kit. Gracias. I need to stabilize him, Danny. Keep the soldados off my back. Oh. Nothing going for the reinforcement. My old piece of shit Nobody gets close. Oh. Nadie. More incoming. You can craft up for fun. Body armor. Those giant state sanctions. Steal slides. Hollow out those pages and you can sneak as long as you want. Matias! You done? I need more time! Shit! We're pushing it here! What? You want to switch?
did good, um... Danny, from Libertad. You've done this before? No painkillers? Give me a hand. Only true yarns get proper medical care. The rest kept me. When I did Paolo's top surgery, there was no anesthetic. Black market hookup fell through. Even then, Paolo didn't blink. Shit. <laughs> Welcome to Castillo's paradise. Tell those lovebirds I'll help after I scrape up some antibiotics for a friend. You will live, thanks to you. Dalia, I got Matias out. Gracias. And Paolo will thank you when he finds out. Danny, you're one of the good ones. Plenty of good ones in Libertad, you know. I think you'd fit right in. Okay, slow down, Danny. If we break more chains, show Marquesa and Castillo that they can't keep us down, maybe I'll consider Libertad. Maybe. I know Paolo's got a lot going on. Just one fucking show, Paolo! We focus on the demo. Javier's cost enough free speech can get us an American deal. Ooh, an American record deal. A grand fucking salvation! What's going on? We got a show for the first time since we ran from Esperanza, and Paolo wants to kill it. Why? Marquesa will kill us. But I painted the logo everywhere. No, I painted them. And stole a fucking zebra and killed for that local priest. No bullshit, you're doing the show. What priest? One song. Then we're out. Ah, oh, mi amor, I could fuck your brains out, but we gotta get ready. Back your shit, baby! <laughs> Danny, I, I love that you're just speaking your truth like that. What is it, Picho? We're gonna need to clear Marquesa's propaganda house of soldiers if we're gonna set up our gear. And by we, I mean you. Or you with a little bit of me. Both of us. I get it. Let's go speak some truth. Papa! Costing you. What? You don't like sleeping in a swamp? Oye, Danny. <clears throat> 
you are doing God's work. You! See? Hey, that's not... easy now, easy. Let's go. Go. Easy. Vamos. That I better appreciate this. Bicho, I'm at Maria's villa. You here? Yeah, yeah, soon way. But, uh, are there soldados? Of course. It's Marquesa's fucking house. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I'm gonna be a little late. Relájate. There won't be a single soldier when you get here. Eyes up, Danny. There's the officer in charge.
Venga, ahí está. Coño. Picho, it's safe to come out now. Orale, Danny! Meet me up front by my truck! And, uh... <clears throat> you need help? Uh, see, si, with gear. That shit's heavy! <laughs> Thank you. 
This is it. You, you, you leaving? Don't! Not now! Uh... Okay. Maria's got the best gear set up here already. We just need to turn that shit on. We? You think Talia will turn on the antenna, lights, speakers? No way, man! Okay, okay. I'll help. Shit, yeah! I got a roadie! And Radio Libertad's happening. I'll be here, monitoring your progress. Motherfucker. I'm a guerrilla roadie now. Damn, Marquesa's has got a serious light board. Okay, antenna is live. Bicho, gear is good to go. Cojone, so lifelike. Where the hell are Paolo and Talia? You look like shit. <gasps> this always happens. This always happens before a show. Hey. Finally. Verdad sobre todo. 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 Falla, porque en la calle se dice que viene batalla. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. Tú sabes que seguimos dando la talla. Hey, canalla, somos los yaranos. Tú sabes que no se desmaya. Pasa la raya y pero es un pueblo que arde metiendo la galla. Yo me tralla. Quiero que todos salgamos con puños arriba. Quiero que todos apoyen este... Danny, protect the gear! Soldados will try to kill our broadcast! If the equipment goes down, Radio Libertad goes down! Won't let that happen.
murdered it! Best show ever! Wait! Dahlia's at the mic again? Okay. Those Goma Mierdas got a tank! Ah, oh, shit. Show with the bang! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Show's over. What are you talking about, Paolo? You made your point to Marquesa. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. So you got her thinking she's hard like Libertad now. Should I run to America like a pussy instead? Fuck, Talia, we can have a life there. Oh, yeah. Smile at the Yankees while we clean their toilets. Smile while they tell us to go back to where we came from. They don't want us, Paolo. My life is here, fighting with Libertad. Libertad? <laughs> Libertad just wants our fans. You think Clara Garcia gives a shit about you? Me, Danny? Take it easy. Oh, so now you're against Libertad. After all the shit we've been through, the surgeries, your family? My surgeries! My family! Not yours! This isn't my war! When this is over, I'm still gonna have to fight to live here! It's like you forget that I'm trans in fucking Yara! So don't talk as if you know what it's like for me! A real man doesn't run! Suerte!
They'll be fine. They'll be fine. I don't think so, mi amigo. Miss Tilly, I'm afraid I only have a few minutes. Let's get right to it. Mm. You spend a lot of time with your father. He is a great teacher. And your mother? ¿Qué clase de tontería es esta, María? Es el estilo americano. Let's talk Viviro, a cancer treatment that extends the lives of millions around the world, except in the United States. My own father is stage four. Why do you make Americans wait? It's very American to expect what does not belong to you. You refuse diplomatic overtures, even promises to lift the blockade. I am sorry about your father, but Americans will wait, just like everyone else. Yesterday, your network, Yarovision, was hijacked by rebels. They called for the liberation of so-called outcasts from Viviro labor camps. Is Viviro produced with slave labor? Truth or lies? The truth, of course. Yara did not write the playbook. Slavery was your first corporation, 1800 to 1860. Cotton was your number one export. Grown by whom? Just a second. Slaves. Four million Americans worth $3.5 billion. The number one asset in your economy was people who looked like me. What is that called? A history lesson? A head start. Replaced by a billion dollar prison industry that pays its inmates pennies. America is not alone. Correct. Children so are close. Sweatshops build our phones and Bibiro saves millions of lives. Do you think that those lives care where it comes from? Santos Espinoza executed your father in the 1967 communist revolution. You were imprisoned at the age of 13, the same age as Diego. You were self-educated? My mother was a wonderful teacher. I understand you were forced to endure 15 years of hard labor, pruning tobacco. I hear you still have the blade. When Yara becomes paradise, when I give my vibiro to America, my methods, your questions. No one will care. We're done here. For your father. Badass crocodile, you got there. <laughs> Clara, I saw the broadcast. It went dark. What happened? Are you okay? We're alive. Bien. Everyone's talking about Maximus Matanzas, which means they're talking about Libertad. No one can ignore you now, even if they wanted to. I just want Yara to hear the truth. So what's your next... Move. Talk to Talia. See if I can smooth out some creative differences. Wish me luck. Danny. Make that bitch pay. Thank you. 
Danny! Danny! My best friend and my sweet little piglet. What? You, me, Segunda, Main Square, drinks now! Sounds like you got a head start. <laughs> yeah. Coño, I'll be there when I can. Go easy, bicho. Oye, sending a pic of Marquesa's propaganda trucks. Sorry you have to look at her face. <laughs> Just another reason to take them out. Been sick of hearing her... Propaganda bullshit since Castillo took over. Fuck them up, Danny. An abandoned mine. <laughs> Didn't really clean up after themselves. Maria's rum factory. Time to make some noise. Sniper on Overwatch. Fear me, intruso. Show yourself. Careful, Claymer.
go now. Shit! Here! Coño. Incoming! Adios to shitty rum. started. This feels good, <laughs> like therapy.
That was for you, Talia. Rum factory is gone, and so is the money she stole from it. <laughs> Eso! Now keep hitting her face! Billboards and shit, use fire, bullets, piss, puke, blood! Look, I don't care! Whatever you got! I'll stick to weapons. I want Maria to see her number. Remind Leatherface of her mortality, you know? Dale, dale. This Marquesa. Lo siento, I gotta take this. Now, what am I supposed to do?
Something is up. Starting to feel like an ex. Música verdadera para yaranos verdaderos. Solo en Radio Verdad. Broadcasting from Esperanza. This is Radio Verdad. Maria's going to get the message now. Hola, took care of the propaganda. Oh, yeah, you did. Let's go a little bigger, see? Just heard those coming here, that's a... Has gone, Talia. Silvio, motherfucker. Okay. Get on your way. 
Talia, I'm at the statue. Bullets aren't going to cut it. I'm gonna need to blow it up somehow. Get down! Let's get them! Dahlia, I'm at the statue. Bullets aren't going to cut it. I'm gonna need to blow it up somehow. Guess you gotta get creative, Gideon. See. Si. Expensive. Talia, it's done. Good. It's going to cost that bitch millions to get all that back. I thought you'd be more happy. Look, millions can't bring back what I lost. But that's okay because we're just getting fucking started. Hey, that's some info. Kinga! You would work. 
works. No, it's that. Keep that crop contained or else. Okay, careful, Danny. What'd you get? Never mind, I don't care. Vicho, our future is now. You are a genius. Let's do this! Priorities way. Party time! <laughs> Come on, you little fucker! Let's dance! Fuck 
you, everybody dances. If Bicho is gonna dance, he's gonna dance to his own fucking music. Hey, hola! Hey, got the request? Si, can you play this? It will really cheer up my friend. Dale! Better, bicho. Where are you, you little pineapple hair fuck? Don't leave me alone out here. Oh shit. Phone. Danny? Hey, where are you, man? Ah, uh, Danny. Bicho, you come in mierda. Where'd you go? Danny, there's a really big dog here. <laughs> is, is that a cow? Where where did you find a cow? He's really nice. He gives lots of kisses. Stay where you are. I'll come find you. <laughs> stop, stop it. Bad dog. <laughs> ¿Qué coño es eso? Oh, shit. Shit. What the fuck? Bicho! Your name is Italian. Bicho! Coño. Just be cool. Garia. Huh? Que? Like, uh, for Libertad. Does Clara give you a test? Yeah, bicho. She makes you get up at like four in the morning and do push ups. What? Yeah, a, a thousand. If you stop, her buddy Juan shaves your ass and spanks you. <laughs> and if you puke, they make you do math. <laughs> Me lleva la chingada fucking man? No way. No way, way. You're full of shit. You're lying. <laughs> Since when did you want to be a guerrilla? Never mind. Forget it. Danny! <laughs> I can't. I can't look at all graffiti. It makes my heart feel like a bag of dog shit. We need to cover it up. Go, Danny. Pay my... <laughs> That's Just what you like get. Me. Okay. That's every single one. Really? How, how many did you do? Like, uh, at least a hundred. Nice. Drink? Danny, I need to hear their voices. Then, bicho, my little chalupa, I think it's time for some real guerrilla shit. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Bro, 
podcast that shit, bicho. Let's make segunda fucking dance for libertad. <laughs> I'm going to remodel Maria's office. Hang on. Excuse me. I think I'm done with this now. Then let's get out of here. <laughs> it's not fair, man. <laughs> You're right. It isn't. <coughs> what is it?
you. I mean you. Look at you. Look at you. You want to do something, you go out there and do it. People see me, they think, fuck up. They see you, and it's, wow, the god of Yara. <laughs> That's not what people see. Uh, bullshit, it is. No. Mm. They see this. That's it. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, because you're a badass. You know, before Liberta, I had two best friends, just like you. Lita used to joke we were nothing but numbers to the rest of Yara. I was lucky orphan 13 at Esperanza's school for they lost. After that, I was cadet 2683. Then drafty 0418 to rebuild Castillo's paradise. When Lita died, she called me the lucky one. Like an idiot, I thought. Still just a number, Danny. A nobody. But I wasn't listening. She knew I still had a chance to be who I wanted to be. She was telling me not to waste it. To act. People see what they want to see. I am not a number. I am not a fucking gun. I'm a guerrilla, just like you. I use this, and you use that, huh? But I could be a cool fucking gun too. Danny, how are you holding up? Let's see. Paolo's gone, Picho's a crying mess, and Talia's just fucking chaos. I think it's time to face reality, Danny. Maximus Matanzas is too far gone. I'm going to head back to camp. Talk to Talia. Don't give up on them yet, Clara. You're called, Danny. I'm a grenade ready to fuck. We hit Marie. Let's fuck up Marquez. Go, horse. Come on. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Vamos. Uh, 
Nice ride. Come on. That's a good horse. Vamos, vamos! <laughs> Clara, I need press passes. I'm coming up to Maria's TV station. Anything you can tell me? Press passes? I won't ask. Look, Danny, they're holding one of our guerrillas inside. So free them if you can. I'll do my best. Gracias, Clara. As a young person growing up in Yara, I am witness to a lot of exciting things. The miracle of Vivido, the rise of our glorious village, well, the many works of art created by true Yarans all across our island. But not all art is the same. Some music and graffiti is there to tempt young people away from the right path. You might have heard the name Maximas Tutanka. They are criminals and liars. They don't have the approval of our capable Miss Marquesa, our honorable minister of culture. Minister Marquesa makes it easy for us to tell the art that's good for us from the art that's bad for us. All you have to do is ask yourself, has this been approved by Minister Marquesa? If it hasn't, it is your duty to turn it over to the good people of the Protectores de la Patria. It's cool to be young, but it's even cooler to be loyal. We'll find them. Engineer.
Dios mío. Dani Rojas. What do I owe this honor? Hola, Dani. Hey. The press passes. Let's do this shit. Hola, reporter Benavides. Press passes. This is my shot, Danny. Got a shit hot song for that bitch, so don't fuck this up. Easy, Talia. Keep it together, okay? You keep it together, Danny. Don't lose those passes. Meet me and Bicho in the Botanical Gardens parking lot and don't go in without us. have a bogey in restricted airspace. Attention pilot, land now or you will be fired upon. Perfect.
Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you... Silvia Balboa, Garden City. Urban Garden. Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friends. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro. The Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. Impressive. Hi. A lot of money not going to the rest of Yara. Today, I am honored and excited to share with you the miracle of Viviro. A revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. It's possible for the inside tour. You really make a reporter feel special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> It all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, y exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> Excellent, a volunteer. Mm. 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 This is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer-fighting tobacco compound called Yarantin. Found only in Yaran tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantin is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. 
There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and belief by idiots. It's not true. Viro is exciting, isn't it? It is fascinating, no? If you could rejoin Minister Marquesa, please. If you could rejoin Minister Marquesa, please. I didn't think this could happen. I hear even more now than before. Stay with the group, por favor. Something wrong, senora? love to know if she was really Castillo's mistress. But she'd probably try to disappear me for asking. When you said one-on-one -on -one performance, what did you mean? My fucking solo career? I don't know, does it matter? Maria just needs to know, needs to hear, needs to feel the pain she deserves. I'm not a sure she can even feel at all. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind the Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone. Enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren rum. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a, uh, I say, a sneak peek. So peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. Come now, Dr. Reyes, we don't want to be late. Neither do we, let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. So, what now? Take it as it comes. We go this. Stay on your toes. It is estimated there are 18 million new cases of cancer each year worldwide. How would you produce enough Viviro to combat this? Viviro is a youngin. Working on chewables, but. Oh, yarn, heart. 
doctors are set on helping their fellow people in need. The international medical community has called for the composition of the Viviro compound. We can... have a special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yarn Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice, like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You, you attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. But where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? <laughs> Fuck. Come on, let's go! Let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Hello? Your mother is dead.
nice looking croc. Coño. Fuck ya. Yeah. चलो गाइज आज के लिए इतना ही मिलते हैं कल आगे के पार्ट में तब तक के लिए बाय बाय टेक केयर गुड नाइट गाइज गुड नाइट